back up in that thing. You know, they thought we couldn't do it. They damn sure thought we couldn't do it. <laughs> hey yo, hey yo, DD, you heard it. Oh, oh god damn, now you gonna start oh, it out. Shit. This you nigga, just gonna start hey, it off like that? Hey, DD, come get this nigga, man. Open that door. Nigga, let that out. Oh, let that out the front oh, door. Oh, shit. Let that motherfucker walk out. Start episode, like, yeah, let. Oh. Ah, this nigga god damn. Oh, you know, we like that. Yeah. Billy got up and opened the door for it. Yeah, let that. Shit out. Nigga, nigga open the door for real. In real life, let that motherfucker. Shit, wait a minute. Let him walk out. Man, look. First of all. We've been trying our best to make this shit happen, and we making it happen. We coming to you right now, man. We uh, we had a Shima Franklin house. Shima, thank you for letting us come up here. Yay! So, At my house. Uh, we still we still keeping our social distancing. We uh, that, uh but four people in the house. That's it. Yeah. Okay. My house is very much so quarantined. Who left it's the house? And he got social distance out uh, out the crib when he at my house. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, right the walking dead. You leave the house. You can't. Right. Out there. If you go on for twenty four hours, you let the sun come up on your ass. That's it. Wherever you at. That's where that's you where you at. He been outside the gate twenty four hours. Yeah. Leave him out there. But tell him he might have got bit. My house is real cold. Don't I keep it cold, fool? Like a hospital cold. If you're from Chicago, it feel like moon oink in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> cold keep the germs out. But uh, yeah. So here's the thing. Now there's been a lot of people wondering where the fuck damn fool is. Damn fool ain't been on social media. Damn fool ain't posted a picture. Mm-hmm. Damn fool ain't did shit. Now here's the thing. I've been. I even want to get on social media and make fun of the shit because I don't think it's funny. Right. But I don't want to get on there and be all sentimental and get niggas paranoid. And right. Either. Right. So I've just been kind of staying the fuck away. Right, 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 right. I feel you. But as of late, I've had felt like I needed to say a few things. Okay. Starting uh, with where I've been. How about that? Yeah. Uh, right. How'd you Los- get here? I left Los Angeles nine days ago. I uh, got a call from... Uh, the Uptown Comedy Theater, they said, hey, we'd like you to come and perform with Billy Sorrell. Uh, we love when y'all work together, so how you feel about coming down during the weekend? I was like, all right. Right. The corona shit had just kind of hit. Mm-hmm. Wasn't really that much of a scare yet. It was just like, NBA was still in. It, they were still playing ball. Yeah. And it was like, you know, it's all good. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. Bill, uh, I talked to Bill. I said, hey, what, what you think about this virus thing, man? He's like, oh, man, don't worry about this shit. It's going to be over a couple days. Come Niggas on. ain't mm-hmm. getting it. That's, that's what I said. Mm-hmm. Let's knock it out. You know, right. Bill think he Dr. C. That was really the that, the last weekend of, yeah. of everything. Bill but go on. He Dr. C. Right. <laughs> you, he, you can't tell this nigga nothing when it comes to help. Right. Oh, see, your rabbit flapping is getting mixed with your rebel flu. <laughs> you need your, you need your <laughs> fish oil seed, see. You got to get your sea moss You got to get your fish oil. And <laughs> so, I, I vitamined up. He said, tied a little bandana around your face. I tied a little bandana around your face. I tied a little bandana around your face. You did? I got on the play, ran into Ronnie George. Uh, I mean, Ronnie Jordan. Uh, got here. Soon as I landed in Atlanta, all hell broke loose. Mm-hmm. The world went to shit in less than... Four hours. I was on a plane four and a half hours, people. As soon as I touched down in Atlanta, as <laughs> soon as you touched went bad. Right, from the West Coast to the East Coast. Right. They, everybody was dead in LA, in LA by the time I <laughs> left. I know, right? Like, really? What, what the hell happened? <laughs> <laughs> you got out of there just in time. Just in time. Just then in I time. Down, I hear the cases is at an all time high. <laughs> we do the weekend. It's two people at every show. You know what I'm saying? We get through the weekend. Pause. You also got to tell them how they tried to fuck us. Oh, they tried to fuck us. Okay, so this they is the They tried nigga. to hit us with the pandemic pay. Nah, nigga. Oh, <laughs> with the coronavirus to, pay? Oh, they tried to fuck us. Tried to make us do the shit for nothing. Hey, then look. tried to make us take a loss with them and all type of bullshit. Oh. Uh, it's a pandemic. Yeah, on your head, nigga. They had to let me holler at your conversation. Well, close then. Let me holler at you. Then, nigga. Now, this is the thing. They didn't want to close and not open. Right. They just wanted to goddamn it cancel us and not pay us what they were what they were supposed to pay us. But hope all the people that was going to show up showed up the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all had y'all still had a crowd? Yeah, we did. That was literally the last weekend of comedy. The last weekend of Sandy. Right, it was. Now, I'm booking my ticket. As I'm booking my ticket, we watching the NBA game. We are watching the game. 
and they say this game has been canceled. Then a tweet went out 20 minutes later said the whole NBA been canceled. I said in the middle of the game. They, they didn't even finish the game. They in the middle. The shit didn't even start. It's when they was lining up to do this part where they, where they tipped the ball. Yeah, the push. <laughs> the push. <push. Yeah. laughs> Right I, before I'm the play. I was going to say jump ball, but I would just leave out there. So right, 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 right. I know what jump ball is. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> That's when they said, game on. Right. It was, it Wait was a minute, man. Utah Jazz versus OKC. Everybody go home. This is crazy. So I looked at Bill. I said, I got off of skip leg right then and there. Right. I said, nigga, I'm not going nowhere. I live with y'all now. Right. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, yeah, you, I'm here. Is? I'm like, and you told me to come here. I live with y'all. I'm one of the kids. I feel like when it comes to survivor mode, Atlanta is the best place for us to be. I think we're going to be able to survive yes. here on the – if everything turned into the life of the living dead. I'm going to do a blizzard with you. Yep. A tornado with this nigga. Yep. <laughs> shit. A hurricane. Like, <laughs> We gonna better knock this coronavirus out like it ain't nothing. You already know. And, I, and, it, and it's like, man, here's my thing. We did go through a blizzard. <laughs> I want to know, like, everybody's got the whole social distancing thing wrong. Everybody like, oh, it just means stay away from niggas you don't know. No, it means everybody. That means everybody. I mean, if your auntie get it, you gonna let her in the house? Right. Uh, so she can give it to everybody else? Ask, ask that book. If your auntie get it and she come back with the macaroni that you love, that you gonna take I am very nervous right now myself. <laughs> <laughs> you just, it's, you really got to be careful with it. I, I, I only came up here because I know she ain't got no man. <laughs> My like, God no damn. Yeah. Here. Yeah, ain't nobody been over here. This has been my whole life has been I social mean, distancing. No my whole no personal life, love no life, distance, everything. Like, Carlos that came and got yeah. ashen about it here. You just I mean, here. I am just literally in here by you myself. Just out here just by yourself. So literally social distancing. And no when we get back to the non social distancing, there's a lot of motherfuckers I ain't fucking with. Hey. And I mean that all my good mornings. I ain't yeah. fucking with you niggas. I ain't got. Finding out their real relationship. Oh yeah, right I now. ain't got a good morning and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven days. Hello, beautiful. Nothing. You know how's your day going? None of that. None of that. Oh, it's I'm cutting off every oh, every man. nigga. Any nigga that I was fucking with before oh, this shit, man. nigga, don't even dial my number. We'll be back on and pop, and I'm gonna say that now. Nah. <laughs> Everybody's cut off. Everybody, a whole new team, whole new roster. Cause y'all ain't shit. I ain't had a nigga bring me a loaf of bread. I was finna whoop the nigga from the Atlanta Comedy Theater. Gary Abdo, his name. Gary and shit. First of all, so Gary, let me tell you what he, he does. He tries to tell me, and you can still book me, Gary. Uh, yeah, Gary, you ain't shit. I know you gonna fuck me. I know you gonna fuck me. You're supposed to. So this, oh, this, Gary, this was, I love this, you, Gary. This is the deal that was supposed to happen. So he's supposed to pay me a flat fee for the weekend. Right. That was the deal. He comes back on Friday at six fifty-five. Yeah, we just gonna give you a hundred percent of the dough. I said, ah, nah. When you, when you know yeah, it might not be no, bro. It ain't no pre ticket sold. Well, I mean, not none, but you know, no, it's no, no. sold. Now we had about a thousand dollars worth of tickets no, sold. No, right, right, right. Okay. But I'm not mean, like nigga, considering what I was supposed to make for the weekend. Right. And the week, I was like, bro, you just trying to make me take an immediate loss. Right. And I'm like, nah, you you didn't give me a deposit to come down here. You didn't give me, even though I'm in Atlanta, the theater, the the the, the mechanics behind the booking shit is so y'all know. So we educate people at all times. Mm -hmm. You book a comedian like you book any rapper or entertainer, you get them a deposit. Now, what these comedy right. clubs do is because there's so many of them and they have chains of them and it's agencies and they got to have somebody every weekend. The agency that you're with is supposed to make sure that you get your, your you get paid for the weekend. So they might say, we ain't going to get no deposit, but the money good because, you know, right. the agency is bonded to make sure they got lawyers, contracts, all that shit to lock it in. So here he is trying to violate what the contract say, what he owed me, because you didn't give me a deposit. So at, at bare minimum, you owe me a number, which is half of what the weekend is, or half of what I'm supposed to get for the weekend. That didn't happen. And now you're trying to make me take just some chump change. And I was like, nah, nigga, that ain't, that ain't how that works. Right. And try to fuck over. The line. Not want to pay him. It was, it was like, nah, bro, I knew that this wasn't going to be the deal. So what he agreed to was, was to give me 
a number lower than the number that's for the weekend but uh, but promise to bring me back the first weekend in june so if everything goes clear june first to the third you'll see me at the atlanta comedy theater with my boy gary abdo if this you watching this uh in june third has passed and i'm not there then he horse fucked me but <laughs> either way that oh, was just, everybody's gone Everybody's dead, and then it don't matter no way. Oh, I don't want to be dead. I still got some more living and to so do. This, done died in them last nine days, that was this is really not a good time to die. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. The party finna get real. Like you know, once this shit really hit, like the bitches that was really popping, they gonna be giving their pussy away because they could die at any moment. Like it's some niggas finna take down all the ones they ever wanted because they they out here alone. And then everybody can't come to your funeral. You ain't no like, ain't, like got, ain't no funeral. Like, like incinerating niggas. You just, just dead. dead. I don't want to die with no funeral. I want my funeral. Body in the in the in the funeral home because you got the shit. Your funeral gonna be on Instagram. Oh, everybody gonna zoom gonna your funeral. Yeah, I don't want that. This ain't. I don't want to die right now. Terrible time to die. Yeah, man. Can't nobody come. Niggas can't nobody get up and die. talk about you. Make everybody laugh. Cause I'm. If if you die for me, nigga, I'm gonna kill it. Social <laughs> <laughs> nigga can't even come to your funeral because the funeral it can't even rip, rip, nigga. I'm a rip. <laughs> Yo, to the best podcast in the whole wide world, best storytellers. We want to give you this right here, an award, award for being the best fans that we got. Come on over to patreoncom backslash Did You Miss Me podcast and make sure you support us. Join us over there, as well as huh, get all the new merchandise we got. Did You Miss Me podcast.com new merchandise. You see it, you see it. Take it in, bitches. We all up in this thing. Exclusive content only on Patreon.com. We black owned. <laughs> but I do write my mods. But I do write my mods. Yeah. Write my mods. Know what y'all say? No, I think you're going to have to take that over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I'm just Eddie Kane. I'm so tired, is it? I'm so tired of him. Why did you take the furthest away from the shot? Oh, shit. All right. Hey, get back it's here. business. Yeah. Oh shit, we got to watch it and laugh. All right, guys. You ain't out there singing, man. You ain't out there doing that. All you do is get paid. <laughs> and we back up in this thing. All you do is get paid, Jimmy. Oh, that's the end of the, the timer. Mm-hmm. Oh, my bad. I had put, went, put my phone on. I'm trying to realize. Let me go get it. Yeah, where's it? Right there. Mm-hmm. So sorry. So sorry. Hey, touch that. Can you touch that reconnect button when you go over there? You see where it is? Just say reconnect. Let's see what it do. Boom. It won't let me go sideways, so we just going to have to get this for right now. Going the to- long way. All right, so three, two, one. We back up in this thing. Did You Miss Me podcast, the best storytelling podcast on the planet. Joining me today, I got my damn friend, damn fool, Kevin damn fool Simpson. I got Ashima Franklin with us. Hey. Who was taking us uh, on a journey, told us in the the top half, just as a recap, that he came to Atlanta nine days ago, got stuck here. Uh, Now, we got quarantined away from my crib because he was at my house, but he stayed gone Here's the thing. Now, I started out, I get my flight. I'm in the airport right now. I'm a little worried about this because I'm flying, you know, out of LA to somewhere else. But then they wanted me to go through international, and I'm like, nigga, I'm uh, going to Atlanta. All that extra work. Why? I'm not going to Atlantis. Right. <laughs> what the fuck? Do you want me to go that way? All right. I don't want to walk past all them niggas that's been stuck here for two weeks. Right. Or got here and can't go home and. They laying around sickly looking and shit. Mm-hmm. They blankets look sick. Like, it, well, you know when your you little blanket looks sick. It just right. Looks like it need to be washed. You don't even want to be around them. They got the corona. I get on the plane. I'm happy that I see Ryder Jordan, but it's like. You see a familiar face. Thank God. I see a familiar face. <laughs> you know, I find out I'm in the middle seat. Oh. Between Ryder and some white women. So now I'm kind of like. I love you, right? But I'm gonna sit up here. It ain't got nothing to do with you. Right. Oh, so you was able to change seats? Oh yeah, I changed like a motherfucker. 
it was eight people on the flight. Niggas was terrified. Oh, hell I got yeah. That motherfucker, like, should I be on here? Like, ain't nobody else on this bitch. So I get on that motherfucker and I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and ride it out. Right. Get here. Do the show. Like I said, everything went to hell. They canceled the NBA and that's when we was like, okay, fuck. Mm-hmm. Nice so I'm, I'm chilling. I hang out, hang out a couple of days. I then I'm like, all right, well I ain't going nowhere. So we, I'm at, I'm at Bill House. We all decided we like, look, we ain't going out, and we ain't let nobody in. Right. That's the thing, and that's what it is. So now my phone is ringing off the hook, cause Shima knows I'm in town, and it's my friend. She's like a sister to me, love her to death. So she called me. She said. Mm-hmm. Friend, come over, hang out with me. I'm by myself. Ain't nobody here. Ain't nobody coming by. Ain't, but the baby gone. He with his daddy. I'm like, oh god damn, man, you over there by yourself. Now I've been turning down that every so motherfucker that called me. I didn't had bitches calling me trying to give me some pussy. Like we ain't gonna come on. We ain't no. Pussy. No, I don't want no pussy. Cause I don't know where you been all week, and this shit is running rampant. <laughs> <laughs> Off, Niggas like dropping flies. off all that like fly. That's what I do with serious for me. Right. No pussy, right. You know the baby ain't here. They say a shit like that. Yeah, they, you know, my kids with their daddy. Good. <laughs> you should have went with them. Cause, like, now, you know what I'm Y'all saying? need to be a family. So I'm, 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 now, she was my friend and I love her, but I'm debating. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I don't, I want to go over there because she's my mm-hmm. friend. I don't want my friend to feel like I think she's answered. That's why I ain't coming over there. Right. I'm, in, I'm trying to entice you with food and shit. I got shrimp. I know you don't eat meat no more. <laughs> <laughs> I make you some potatoes. I'm like, hey, man. I don't know, man. She got shrimp. I'm, I'm just like, playing. <laughs> once I leave, Courtney's not letting me back here. I know it. I know it in the back of my head. She ain't going to say it out loud. She ain't going to never tell me. She going to tell me from now until I die. I'm always welcome. But I'm not. I know yeah. I hate, and I knew once I left, it was over. That stuff, but I was like, you know what? I fuck with the stream. I'm gonna go. Over here. Then I get over here. This bitch drunk and mean than the motherfucker. Ah! Cussing everybody out, talking shit. I'm like, I should have stayed with him. I was. I was, I was, I was drunk and mean. Face, that face thing, that single woman shit was kicking in. Face. He came over because he took he took too many days to get over here. I called him on day two. I was friendly and nice. I had time to think about shit. I got food <laughs> by the third day. Is she coming or what? Right, right. <laughs> So he finally get over here on day four, nigga. Oh, I'm mean, bitter, drunk, oh, mad, playing my own music, won't shatter Alexa. Getting, getting mad when you, y'all ain't got nothing to listen to? Well, we keep trying to play shit, but you won't let it play. You keep yeah. cutting it off. This bitch pissed Alexa off. I should <laughs> <laughs> Alexa got to the point where she was like Alexa did get mad at me I'm not playing nothing else It was she terrible Alexa, not listening. She, Alexa it was, Play Chris Brown <laughs> Alexa like yeah, Play right. It was <laughs> She was It Alexa, was horrible Play Jodeci Playing New Edition <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, please turn it. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. We done turned the motherfucker over for real. Said, Nigga, that was hilarious. Yeah. Now you know they know we wasn't bullshit. The motherfucker was mad. It right. Was not fucking with a Shima boy. She was a not fucking with me at all. I'm over here quarantined from the quarantine. Right. I, I'd have been quarantined twice. I, I, mm. I'm just out here. It's like, nigga, one more quarantine, I'm done. Now, if she get tired of me, what I'm going to do? I'm out here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here in the virus, just walking around. I know. Crazy when he, his flights back to when LA, he said he couldn't go back, hours. when he said he couldn't go back, I was stirring the grits like, ever? No, I'm just playing. Like, Look, ever, we might live together now. I it's know. Like Food was like, I am here. We might live together for the next two months. Two years. It's up. It's like, it's still the virus. Yeah, it's and, virus and the crazy part is, plane tickets ain't but $28. They $28. Oh, nigga. But... Hey, it's two dollars. What you going on eight dollar risk? I mean, if you go like masked up, if you go masked up, medicated, you know, with the stuff in you, your vitamins and your black seed oil and your sea moss, just to she catch a flight room. You know, if you go with all that on you, shouldn't you be good? 
Yeah, yeah, you know, burn your sage as you walk through the airport. <laughs> Shit. Shouldn't you be okay? I mean, I might take a risk. I don't know, I don't know I'm either. Terrified. I'm terrified. Baby. Just go with your lights on. Just spray as you go. Just spray, yeah, spray, 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 spray. We just had to break up two house parties down the street because these niggas want to hang out. They, they having a party in the house. Oh, yeah. Police say, all 50 of you niggas, come up out that little ass apartment. Great. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, get that nigga out the closet with them turntables. Come on, now. This fuck shit's serious. Just like that dude that was online that was going in. We was looking at him. He was partying. And he he was going in. This is my neighborhood. We out here. We party. We kick it. Fuck the coronavirus. Blah, blah, blah. He took his ass to jail. Yeah, his ass to jail. That nigga was in court. That nigga was in I do understand the severity. What the nigga said the word severity? severity. I, I understand the severity of the situation. Where did you start saying the word severity, nigga? Up on the <laughs> like, I'm going to say, say I know. Something to make them want to get me out of this car. Right, something. Just know that I know this shit is serious. How you say serious in a, you know, <laughs> educated. Severity. <laughs> Severity. Severity. Oh, shit. Are you trying to get out of court? <laughs> Are you on your way to court with your ignorant ass? Man, niggas, niggas at this point, dog, is like, I, I'm constantly seeing the people blood who, doubt, who doubt, the, who doubt the, the, the disease and then niggas that's like really believe in it. When well, you see a nigga start believing the shit, you know everybody got their conspiracy theories the first couple of days. Oh yeah. I mean, I don't give a fuck who it is. I I, don't, I hate to say this, and I don't want to sound like stupid. And I do kind of believe it won't happen to me. Look at me knocking on wood, toes crossing shit. Um, Cardi B say the, the celebrity getting paid to say they got it. Man, let me tell you something. These niggas ain't getting paid to stay at home and not play these fucking games. So when the, when niggas losing money like that, there ain't enough bass, ain't enough, ain't enough, ain't enough conspiracy in the world to make the NBA lose money like that. That's what. But I, everybody that's who who famous and got it just seem like they chilling. They just I like mean, when you got three got the coronavirus contracts and shit. <laughs> it ain't that big of a deal. It's just. It, you stuck in the house. It ain't like niggas telling you to go out and buy the, buy the mall every day. You saving money staying the fuck home. That's that's really what niggas don't understand. Yes. I'm just saying everybody who famous got it is very casual about having it. But see, everybody don't nobody seem like they sick, sweating, throwing up. Niggas ain't really scared of the niggas that's getting it. I, me and Bill were just talking about this the other day. I want to know who is going to take to get it. For Obama. Niggas, if niggas. if Obama get it, nigga, I'ma believe it's real. Okay, for you if, it's Obama. If for me it's Obama. If Obama, Obama. Obama come out and say he got the motherfucking coronavirus, nigga, See, I am yeah, I'ma put my whole house in Obama, bubble wrap. But I was like, nah, niggas gonna be like, well, you know he half white. So Obama be, for me. It's gotta be Michelle. If Michelle get it, if, nah, you ain't lying. That's what niggas really gonna. Yeah, take. that's a nigga from 63rd Street. Now, if Michelle say she got it, like Obama, niggas gonna find an excuse. You know, his mama half half white. Yeah, <laughs> niggas is finding anything to de- de- you know. I said it's gotta be either Lil Boosie or Magic. Oh, come on, dog. Niggas oh, got it. now if Lil Boosie get it, I might have to go and believe him. All agree across the board, Lil Boosie. Are yeah, yeah Labusa been shot. Nigga in the world believe Labusa. Labusa is my favorite nigga on Instagram right now. Boosie nigga. had been stabbed. Boosie yes, had Boosie had been time. Boosie been in the pen. Boosie, Boosie made a, swag serve. Boosie done got you know he done dealt he with made kidney failure. Two fail. albums with Webby and he's still out here. Doing I mean, good. swear rice, swear left. No, I mean I mean say swag serve. Hey man, but so if Boosie get it, niggas gonna swear believe. about him. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or we said it's got to be magic. And like magic, who Johnson? Here's the thing. If, oh, if magic get it, it, and they show you a picture of magic in the hospital with tubes in his nose. Niggas gonna fuck pass. you up. In, in, uh, in order for in order for it to be magic, magic has got to die from it for me. Uh, no, he, he got to be dead. Think about it, Shaver. Cause when I, saw that, when I saw magic. that nigga in a mask, I said, nigga, if you don't get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but if they show a picture of magic with tubes in his nose. Magic got the mask on, so he don't give you what he got. Magic, <laughs> magic, magic should have been wearing a mask. Been for 15 years. And what you say the other day, they Bill? Yeah. We've never, never seen, seen that, that nigga in a hospital bed. We ain't never seen that nigga sick. We ain't never seen him we in a hospital. Never. Never. Picture never. him sick. 
We it ain't, ain't never TMZ ain't never report that. I ain't never seen him. Never, w- never. You forgot it, the nigga played on the dream team with the shit. With the shit. I nigga eyes know. always look good, nigga. Now, if they show magic in the bed with tubes in his mouth. Okay, yeah. Niggas gonna be like, yeah, wait it's, it's, a minute. That's true. Yeah, they got that's that. true. Cause at first I was like, come on now, Magic. Magic ain't lost a pound in fifteen years. I kind of felt like I felt like Magic was gonna eat the coronavirus like a piece of popcorn. So that's why I was like thinking like, ah. They show Magic laying in the bed. Yeah. It, if if Magic get fucked up behind this, yeah, it yeah. might have came yeah. from him. Niggas gonna be like, wait a minute, now. This mm-hmm. shit got to be real. This mm-hmm. shit is real. Got to Magic. It ain't. It ain't that's right. Cause it, the whole wild Magic. And had AIDS. It ain't never been no scare, nah, no magic sick, no damn magic lost weight. Ain't it? Ain't, ain't no ain't nothing. A picture, a picture of magic in the waiting room of the hospital. That nigga is looking better and better. So if they show magic, I mean, like he didn't lost weight. I don't know. I might get mad at some pussy. I don't know. I don't know. Make me get mad at some pussy. Won't be scared. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hold, up. Hold the fuck up. Hey man. That's who it's gonna take to get it for people to understand. It's, it's gonna it's gonna definitely take somebody like that to scare people. Into yeah, it is. Yeah, that's right. Niggas is like, man, fuck this shit, man. It's like the government is. If Magic going, lose weight, this all he got to do is lose weight behind the coronavirus. If he lose ten pounds, niggas will get nervous. ten pieces of hair. Yeah, niggas will get nervous. Mm. Oh shit, man! You see Magic? And you see Magic slimming down? <laughs> magic is. <laughs> Magic. Hey man, man let's stop, man. Magic hey, we're not gonna do this to this man. Ma- hey, we will be back. We love you, man. I love Magic Podcast. Coming back right after this. <laughs> Quarantine Kings and Queens. Hey man, we'll be back. We'll oh, be right that was back. sweet and Queens. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the blood? Ready? We ready, Billy? God, leave. Billy worse than Don Cornelius. You know Don Cornelius worked the shit out of you. Y'all see the damn. Like a nigga, you can really pull off a Jesus look like with dreads and a beard. You know what I'm saying? That's like a Jesus look. And I mean, who don't want to fuck with a nigga like Jesus? I, mean, I would have loved that been Mary. Like, if I can go down in history as being somebody, I would definitely be Mary. Not trying to say I want to get with Jesus, but I'm just saying I wouldn't mind being the woman of all women. You know what I mean? She's the woman of all women. I mean, I do feel like I could buy my way into heaven, so that's true. (laughs) Maybe I should start talking to godly niggas, man, like in real life. Don't get me a man the in the church. No good either, man. They oh, but but you know that they're respectfully no good. Yeah, he gonna fuck your sister and you ain't gonna find out. Well, he gonna respectfully do it because he because he is in the church and he worried about you know the he reputation and everything. He gonna cheat in the most utmost respectful biblical way. That's what it is. I'm finna go and get me a man in the church, and I've dated a man in the church before, so. Ain't that wrong with people that say church? And if you a church nigga. I'm in the church. church. That's how I get it. Give us a call. 323-385-9734. We'll get somebody over there too. Hold Mm -hmm. tight. And if you didn't catch that number, slide in my DM. That's A-S-H-I-M-A Franklin like Benjamin. If you're into the stream, if you're into the church, I'm not into the church. Just make sure you hit a nigga up.
marketing herself. I would love to see that. Like she would get with a nigga, and he, she just become a whole Christian, a there. first lady, like out of nowhere. It wouldn't be, but but, but guess what? I would be the part. bomb. You would you would be the bomb. You I would be the bomb. Come to your house, yeah. Is, when I get up and get my word, it's gonna be so funny and so good at the same time. Cause you gonna be talking about how, nah, you. Well, I ain't, I ain't gonna smoke blunts. I will smoke a joint every now and again. Yes, that's right. Right. That's, that, okay. That's like that's gonna be like a secret that's too. Actually, everybody always asking us questions. I got a question. All mm. you Christians out there, marijuana mm-hmm. is legal. Are mm-hmm. you allowed to smoke marijuana now? Maybe. I ain't never stopped because so I never I, felt. I Christians never felt bad. can drink. They drink alcohol. They do. They do. <laughs> Are y'all able to smoke marijuana? I'm going to give you this. I'm going to be that type of old lady. It heals all nations. It's it is. It's it is. Lady. I am going to be an old lady in the church that will smoke a joint. I'm going to smoke, I'm gonna smoke a joint. Okay. I want to know, though. Church people, hit me up. DM me. Hit me in, in my DM. Call the yeah. phone. I don't give a fuck. I want to know. Can y'all smoke racist? Yeah. I was in the church. I grew up in the church. I used to I used to escort the pastor in. Oh, for real? Yeah, where, growing where, up in where church. Was this at? I was a candy striper in Mobile, Alabama, Nazarene for gospel number two. Shout out to Nazarene. I was in the choir from a childhood up into my adulthood. But yeah, I was a candy striper. I used to walk the choir. I mean, walk the pastor in. So I would carry like his Bible or even or either you know the cup the pastor used to drink out of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I just, I just was, I enjoyed that. But as a child, I was always front and center on everything. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I always wanted to be the guest pastor. The 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 congregation stood up up. and the pastor walked down the aisle to the pulpit. Don't that seem so like extra kingish, like almost pimpish? Like when my uncle told me, when he's delivering the word, told me that my pastor, that my mama pastor was a pimp. Mm-hmm. And I looked at. What I mean, that's fucked up. I, I mean, I'm really not going. That is fucked up. Let's call it what that is fucked up. I mean, there's no way around. I I understand because you knew that that happened and that was something that was going on. <coughs> a pastor running a brothel and having hoes is <coughs> fucked up in Chicago. No, 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 no. So <coughs> this is not what I'm saying. Fuck whether or not he what he was doing. He, my uncle was breaking down to me the fact that if you just look at pastors and pimps, there's no difference. No, it's not. He but, wasn't necessarily saying that the church that I was in particularly was one. He's saying all of them. I mean, he's like, nigga, if you look around at the church, every church that you go to is 90% women, usually single women, single yeah. mothers. It's, it's families. It's families in church, and it's mothers, and it's, it's grandmothers in church. It is. You nigga, know what I mean? Most churches is full of single women. And the thing is, with standing up it's for the pastor. Families. Is what? It's three families. In this <laughs> and you can always know them. It's always the Johnson family, the, the Malone family, the which was us. <laughs> that was us. But that was a, like a level of res- a respect thing, you know. And yeah, we would stand. He would walk in. I mean, that was our pastor. That's and you better not say nothing family. bad about him. And he delivered the word. And yeah, we had we, like when his daughter got pregnant. They she got up in front of the church and apologized. Yeah, that's bullshit. Did you think you think that's right? Yeah. Whenever anybody, if you was into the church at our church, if you did something wrong, you had to get up and say and what you did mm, and apologize. Pimp. Yeah, talk about how you basically how you fucked up the church's money. Yeah, yeah it was a little bit of a pimping. No, it wasn't. Yeah. Instead of being tell the rest of these hoes how you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Give me tell the rest of these hoes how you fucked up and why we upset with you right now. Right. Right now. Tell I you know, right? Why you is it been cast to the back of the line? But it did make you off some funny shit. It did make you want to like be good and do right and have morals and you know that's why I am the the person that I am today. I have every many time, morals. Every time gold is slapping, bitch, it made him <laughs> right too. Hey, listen, I don't give a shit about you. Now go out there and get me my money. Now get. Now get. Hey, for those of y'all that ain't out here, we, we, we got our cups pulled up. Uh, Secrets out. Oh, yeah. That is what Steven Seagal is right there. That's it. Well, y'all know I ain't drinking no more, so I got ginger ale in my cup. But that's what Steven Seagal Secret is. Secrets right out. Oh, yeah. So, okay, I want to tell my story, y'all. Go ahead. Cups up. We got to say this. Repeat after me. We're going to party like rock stars. We're going to party like rock stars. We're going to fuck like porn stars. We're going to fuck like... Not in the quarantine. We got to 
gotta change it. Yeah, no, I don't want to feel like a pawn star. Like shooting stars. We gotta change it, man. No, we gotta Damn, all the fucking incumbent and stars. All the people that say I'm trying to be somebody's wife. I don't want to say on him I fucking mean, like shit, a porn we, star. We, we, we ain't even touch people right now. <laughs> right. It's the right. world to just. Let's do it again. So Billy ain't it. So Billy ain't it. These niggas at home. We're going to love the world. We're going to party like rock stars. We're going to party like rock stars. We're going to fuck like porn stars. We're going to fuck like porn stars. Like porn stars. We're gonna fuck like porn stars. And we're going to come like we're shoot. We're going to come. Like, like shooting stars. stars. Like shooting stars. All right. Yeah, yeah. And if you need somebody to do all that with, give us a call. 323-385-9734. We'll get somebody over there to you. We're sending over. quarantine dick out. Quarantine dick is on <laughs> the way. Coming in, it's coming over there, packaged up, sealed, like uh, in saran wrap. Okay? It's coming <laughs> in hot. <laughs> We're sending whole niggas to your house, packaged in saran wrap, with a little hole in the mouth where you breathe it. A little bit. You know what I'm saying? So you can home. get it in there. Um, Come on. we send them niggas out. We we definitely sending these out now, now. Shima, you was gonna take us down down a, a pathway. What was you about to oh, I was gonna tell y'all my story because y'all said I was gonna Go tell ahead. a story, right? Story. Okay, so this is this is a crazy story. Um, uh, what year is it? Talk, what <laughs> this was like in. Let me see. I moved to Atlanta in <clears throat> 2005. Okay. This is just I don't know. This is, I don't know why I just thought of this when Billy said tell a crazy story. So I moved to Atlanta in 2005. So this probably happened like 2006, 2007. Okay, I'm driving down I-20 going to the east side, like towards the cater. I see this lady and her two children walking along the side of the highway. Oh, wow. They seem wow. to be dressed very well. Like, well, first of all, let me see, not only did I see that, I saw, I saw a car, it was a Cadillac. Oh, I saw a car, it was a Cadillac. That was, they was walking, they had gone ahead of the Cadillac and a Cadillac was pulled on the side of the interstate with the hazard lights on. So I pulled over, cause I'm just thinking that their car, their car broke down or whatever and she walked through, you know, she got her kids. So I pull over, I'm like, hey, you know what's going on? Do you need a ride? And she's like, yes, yeah. she she gets in the car. She puts her kids in, she puts the kids in the back seat of the car. She gets the car and she says, girl, just please just drive. So I pull back onto the interstate and I start driving. I look in the rear view mirror and I realize that the Cadillac that she was walking from is now following me. So it turns out that this is her baby daddy husband. They had just got into it and he pulled a gun on her and he pulled over, pulled a gun on her and put her out. So I'm driving down 20. She's like, just go, 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 go. And I'm just, it's catching me off guard because I'm literally like just pulled over to ask her if she need to ride. And next thing I know, I am on a high speed chase. <laughs> this nigga is on my ass and he pulls up on the side and he has the gun. He's like, pull the fucking car over, pull the fucking car over. And I'm just like, oh my God, I'm screaming. She's screaming. The kids are screaming, but she still is screaming for me to go. And I am just going, just, I'm ducking and do dodging through traffic you know it's not like five o'clock traffic with this steel traffic and i mean i'm driving this motherfucker like i am with a action movie i swear to god and i lost this nigga you lost it <laughs> and i was in i was in a cadillac sedan deville boss hog it was like a she mm, would love bad big dumb ass old car i do Fool, I was in one of my nuts. Cadillacs, nigga. She loved Big Bro. Lucy, son. I was driving that motherfucking Cadillac like it was a convertible, nigga. Like, I was just, I don't know how I lost this nigga. And um, I ended up losing him, getting out the interstate, losing him. She showed me, like, how to get to her house the back way. And I was just like, are you sure you want, want me to take you to your house? She and wanna go home. Yeah, I was like, you know, he's going to find y'all there. But she was like, take me home. And all I know is at that moment, I was like, well, bitch, wherever you go, this is it. I just wanted to drop her off and just go on. <laughs> but that shit really did happen bitch, to me. Name, <clears throat> that was like the, the first time I could have got shot since I had been in Atlanta. Because I had a couple of times I could have got shot. Man, dog. Y'all niggas in Atlanta, y'all got all type of shit. When was the other time you think you could? I was, was I'm, I already know. I was, I was chilling with my homegirl. You know, what year was this? Um, this was like 2007. It was like right when I first moved a lot to of Atlanta. Shit in 07 in your yes, life. I was this, learning a, lot a whole lot. Off the road. Like okay. this is why I'm going to Eastside to this day. But <laughs> my homegirl, she 
fucking around with this dude. She had um moved from Mobile. What's your what's your homegirl name? Um, I mean, I'm put a, uh, name Keila Lambert. Sorry, Keila. Uh, we had low key grew up together. We knew each other since middle school, high school. She, we both had kind of like moved to Atlanta around the same time. She moved to Atlanta to better herself, and I think at the time to get away from her ex boyfriend at the time. So this nigga just crazy. Girl, all right, all right. I done moved to get away from a crazy nigga before. So anyway. She even moved to get away from this nigga. This nigga here is crazy. Can just find her or whatever. Anyway, we go out. We go out and hang it out. I don't know. Because all that day he had been harassing her. We out in the grocery store trying to buy cereal and salmon and shit. Because, you know, we had just moved to Atlanta from uh, moved to Atlanta from Alabama and shit. So, you know. So, we, you know, all day he just, like, fucking with her or whatever. Down on the phone doing the shit. So, anyway, we go out or whatever. What club y'all go to? Oh, we might have went to Visions. This might have been Vision days. So yeah, this was back in the day. Okay. Um, I we drive once again. We in Boss Hog. Shout out to Boss Hog, man. That's Question: Is yeah, BMF popping at the time? B, is BMF Big Meech and them still out in the street? Yo, to the best podcast in the whole wide world, best storytellers, we want to give you this right here, an award, award for being the best fans that we got. Come on over to patreon.com backslash did you miss me podcast and make sure you support us. Join us over there as well as, huh, get all the new merchandise we got. Did you miss me podcast.com new merchandise. You see it. You see it. Take it in, bitches. We all up in this thing. Exclusive content only on patreon.com. Black owned.